सिलेंड्रिकल कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम द सिलेंड्रिकल कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम हैविंग कोऑर्डिनेट्स रो फाइ जेड रो इज द रेडियस ऑफ द सिलेंडर फाइ इज द एंगल मेक बाय रो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एक्सिस एंड जेड इज कॉल्ड द हाइट ऑफ द सिलेंडर सो हियर इन सिलेंड्रिकल कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम वी कंसीडर अ सिलेंडर दैट इज सिचुएटेड ऑन एक्स वाई plane that is the base of the cylinder is situated on xy plane and it has some height that is z now on this cylinder we represent the coordinates that is rho phi and z now here we represent a radius rho and this rho makes some angle with respect to x axis this angle is called phi angle so we take care that phi angle is always by radius of the cylinder rho and always with respect to x axis now here we extract a piece in which all the three coordinates are changed by some differential units that is radius rho is changed by small radius that is d rho similarly phi is the angle and there is a change in phi angle is represented by d phi and z is changed by differential dz but here we take care that in cylindrical coordinate system there is a angle there is one angle that is phi angle so here the differential increase in phi angle is having a term that is rho that is rho d phi so how it is observed so for this we uh, we take a shape such that in which all the three coordinates are changed so for this we take a point p at the corner of the surface of the cylinder here we take a point at the top corner and mark it p now at point p there is a radius rho which makes some angle phi now we change this phi by some differential angle that is d phi now at as phi is increased by small angle d phi and rho is increased by some differential d rho so z is increased by some differential dz from here we get a shape which is shown in figure in this shape there is a curved face now we have to represent the unit vectors corresponding to cylindrical coordinate system that is unit vector rho unit vector phi and unit vector z now at point p the unit vector rho is in the direction of increasing radius that is radially outward and the unit vector phi phi is here in cylindrical coordinate system phi is angle made by rho with respect to x axis and its limit is from 0 to 2 pi means rho is a radius and it makes a circle as phi is increasing from 0 to 2 pi so in this case the unit vector phi direction is along the circle so we represent the unit vector phi that is tangent to this circle now as unit vector rho is normal to the curve surface and unit vector phi is tangent to the circle we find that the angle between rho and phi is 90 degree and similarly the unit vector z is in the direction of increasing height that is towards z axis and the unit vector z is also 
90 degree with respect to rho as well as with respect to phi. So, we can say that the unit vector rho, unit vector phi and unit vector z makes a 90 degree angle with each other and so called an orthogonal system. So, here there is an orthogonal system and having a unit vectors that is unit vector rho, unit vector phi and unit vector z. Now, we have to determine the differential length, differential surface and differential volume. Now, for the first that is for differential length, we consider the shape that is shown in figure. This shape having all the three coordinates changed by some differential units that is d rho, d phi and dz. Here as we move from c to b, there is an increase of d rho and as we move from a to c, there is a differential increase in dz and when we move from B to D, there is a differential increase in D5. Now, here there is a point that as we move from B to D, B to D is the arc length and we can determine the arc length that is here the differential angle D5 makes some arc and the Arc length is determined by the multiplication of rho and angle that is d5. So, here there is a point which is to be noted that the curve path that is as you move from b to d or d to b its value is rho d5 means the change in angle is rho d5 not d5, it is rho into d5. So, we can say that the change in rho is differential rho that is d rho, the change in phi is rho d5 and the change in z is dz. Now, from this shape or figure, we consider a point P having coordinates rho phi z. And on this shape, we consider another point that is Q and this Q have coordinates rho plus d rho, phi plus rho d phi and z plus dz because in, in, in the change of phi is rho d phi. This is due to the arc length. Now, the Q point should be a diagonal one because we see from the figure that as we move from C to B only the radius rho is changed. Here the phi angle is constant and z is also constant. This is shown in figure means phi is constant because as we project C to the point on xy plane and B on xy plane, we find that both the points makes uh, some angle phi, that is the same angle. And at C and B, the height is also constant. So, as we move from C to B or B to C, only rho is changed. Phi and z is constant. Similarly, as we move from C to a or A to C, only Z value is changed. Here, rho is constant and phi is constant. This is shown as we project it on XY plane. In C and A is projected onto the same point. So, we can say that the radius is constant, that is rho is constant. And phi at these two points as we project on xy plane we find that phi is also constant. Only the z is changed from A to C or C to A. Now the third is as we move from B to D only phi angle is changed that is 
rho into d5 arc angle but here the radius is constant means as we project b point onto the xy plane and d to the xy plane we find that the radius is same that is the arc length having radius rho both the rho is same so at point b and at point d the radius rho is constant similarly at the point b and d the height is constant so we can say that as we move at the corners of the of the shape we get a two coordinates constant only one coordinate is changed so we cannot take a point to determine the differential length on the sides so to determine the differential length all the three coordinates should be changed so to determine this differential length we consider a point q that makes some diagonal as shown in figure that is p to q is the differential length and it is a diagonal of this shape so here the point p having coordinates rho phi z and the point q having coordinate that is rho plus d rho comma phi plus rho d phi and z plus d z here the point is that the phi is changed by rho d phi this is due to the arc length so to determine the differential length dl vector that is final point minus initial point so the final point is rho plus d rho phi plus rho d phi z plus d z and the initial point is rho phi z so after subtracting we get d rho comma rho d phi comma d z so the differential length dl vector is equals to d rho unit vector rho plus rho d phi unit vector phi plus d z unit vector z next is the differential surface as we take a shape that is observed for the differential length and on this shape we get a three surfaces first surface is is towards the unit vector rho second surface is is with, with in the direction of unit vector phi and third is with, is in the direction of unit vector z so here the curve face that is the front face that is a curve face which having a arc length rho d phi and the height dz and this shape this surface having a direction that is towards unit vector rho and its differential surface is rho d phi into dz in the direction of unit vector rho here the area the surface area of this front face is arc length rho d phi into dz and this front face having a direction is unit vector rho so the differential surface in the direction of unit vector rho is rho d phi unit vector z in the direction of unit vector rho the second differential surface the second differential surface is that surface which having a direction towards unit vector phi so the face that having a direction toward unit vector phi is shown in figure in this the differential surface area is d rho into dz here the d rho is the differential increase in radius rho and its direction is towards unit vector phi so the differential surface is equals to d rho into dz in the direction of unit vector phi the third surface the third surface is having a direction that is towards unit vector z so such surface is shown in figure and this surface having a surface area rho d phi into d rho 
So, the differential surface that is ds vector is equals to rho d phi into d rho in the direction of unit vector z. It is also written as rho d rho d phi unit vector z. Cylindrical coordinate system, there are three differential surfaces with respect to unit vector rho, unit vector phi and unit vector z. Now the next is the differential volume. The differential volume is simply a multiplication of the sides that is d rho into rho d phi into dz. So, in this way we can determine the differential length, differential surface and differential volume for the cylindrical coordinate system. And in cylindrical coordinate system, there is only one angle that is phi angle and due to this, there is an arc length that is rho d phi. So, here there is a point which should be clear that the phi is changed by rho d phi, not d phi. That is due to the arc length.